Welcome to Stone Watch, and today we're talking about the movie Reminiscence. And if you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button and click on that bell so you can notify future videos. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And yes, I recently caught the movie Reminiscence starring Hugh Jackman on HBO Max. And I gotta say, it was actually pretty damn good. Now, I actually went into this movie with not really high expectations because I saw the trailers a couple weeks ago. It looked very interesting, but didn't really get me excited to go see this in the theater. So that's mainly why I watched it on HBO Max. Other than that, it was money that was kind of tight this week, so I figured I'd already have a subscription to HBO Max, so I'm gonna watch it there. You know what I'm saying? And I'm kind of glad that I did. I'm not saying that there was not parts in this movie that would have been really cool on the big screen because there probably were a few visuals that were on this one. And I'm going, whoa, that's pretty trippy. It would have been really trippy on a big screen. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. I mean, and I actually watched this movie twice now because I went back to watch it a second time when I was getting stuff ready for this review video. And I want to make sure that I heard things correctly the first time around. And actually, there was a few things that I saw and heard the second time that I didn't see or hear the first time. So I think this might be one of those type of movies that you could actually go back and rewatch like on several times. And you might actually see and hear stuff that you didn't hear in prior viewings. You know what I'm saying? Which is actually a mark of a pretty damn good movie in my book. You know, throughout this whole entire movie, I kept on thinking, why is this thing reminding me of something I've already seen before? And halfway through the movie, I'm going, ah, oh, now I've got it. It kept on reminding me of that 1995 classic, Strange Days, starring Ralph finds lord voldemort himself and i'm like it's not necessarily a bad thing because i like that movie it's been quite some time since i've gone back and rewatched that movie and it almost makes me want to do that just so i can see how close these two stories were together because all throughout this whole entire movie i kept on thinking man this reminds me of strange days now i do think that hugh jackman was pretty good in this movie even though i think this is like the first movie i've seen since he was in logan to be quite honest with you so but it was pretty damn good. Now, Rebecca Ferguson, I'm not really familiar with all the things that she's been in, but she was pretty good in this movie, and those dresses she was in was pretty damn hot. Sorry, I'm single now, so I can't help myself. Now, all these other actors in this movie, I'm not really familiar with anything they've been in before, but they did a pretty damn good job. Now, Lisa Joy, the director and the writer of this film, it was pretty damn pretty good. I mean, I'm not familiar with all her other shows she's worked on because I didn't watch Westworld and I didn't watch Pushing Daisy. I remember Bird Notice and it looked kind of interesting, but I didn't really watch it. So I can't really compare this to anything else she's done before because I didn't watch any of that stuff. But this movie was pretty good. Reminiscence is a 2021 American neo-noir science fiction thriller film written and directed by Lisa Joy in her feature film directorial debut. The film was released by Warner Brothers Pictures in the United States on August 20th of 2021 and will also have a month-long science simultaneous release on the HBO Max streaming service. The film has released mixed reviews from the critics who compare it unfavorably to other similar themed films. Now the basic plot of the movie is this. Nicholas Nick Bannister, a private investigator of the mine, navigates a alluring world of the past until his life has changed by a new client named May. A simple case becomes an obsession after she disappears and Nick soon finds himself in a fight to learn the truth about her. Starring in this movie we have Hugh Jackman, Rebecca Ferguson, Tadiwe Newton, Cliff Curtis, Marina Del Terriara, and Daniel Wu, just to name a few. Now, currently, this movie is sitting at a Rotten Tomatoes score of 37% out of 118 critic reviews so far. Now, there is no audience score because they said there's not enough ratings yet for them to actually tally up a score, which is kind of weird. I've never seen that before, so I don't know. Let me just think about that in the comments down below. Now, it does have a budget of $68 million, and we're going to have to wait till Monday to see how well it does at the box office because it was also available on HBO Max, so that's going to be a major factor in its ticket sales, right? I mean, I have to admit, 15 or 2, I went HBO Max in this movie. Now, normally I would say I'd be willing to pay matinee for it, and that's not the case. I went HBO Max for it because I already had this subscription. Money was kind of tight, so I went that way. Now, I would have paid it matinee for it had I seen it in the theater if that was the only way I could actually see this movie. But I got to admit, if I actually had to wait for it to come out on streaming, I might have waited. So I'm not saying this movie's bad because it's not. It's actually a pretty damn good movie. And I've already seen it twice. So now I'm not going to go into major spoilers because the movie did just come out on Friday. So to give everybody a chance to actually see this movie, whether they're going to see it on HBO Max or whether or not they're going to see it in the theater. Maybe I'll do a deeper dive in a couple weeks after everybody's gotten a chance to actually see it because this story is kind of compelling when you stop and think about it, at least in my opinion. So I don't know. Did you watch the movie Reminiscence starring Hugh Jackman? Let me know in the comments down below. Did you watch it on HBO Max or did you go to the theater? And how cool was it on the theater when you saw it? I saw it on HBO Max, so I can't really comment on that but i did like it and i thought it was actually pretty damn good so i don't know let me just think in the comments down below